Erica Bratine this evening. Happy Saturday, Erica. Happy Saturday and happy Saturday to you all. Hopefully you're enjoying your weekend. We do have those low clouds. Really, they were sticking along the coast most of the day. I should say hugging the coast most of the day. They did not want to go away. And this evening, they are actually pushing into the Salinas Valley tonight. I do expect to see some low clouds up into the Hollister area as well. And patchy fog and maybe even some light drizzle out there. This is what we're waking up to yet again. Of course, for our inland locations, we'll see some gradual clearing out there tomorrow by lunchtime. But for our coastal locations, I expect those low clouds to stick around. Haze was another thing we were talking about today. You're probably outside and you saw a lot of that haze. It was really in the upper levels of the atmosphere, so a lot of that wasn't reaching the surface levels or even mid-levels. But because of that, we did see some reddish skies out there. The places that really impacted were the, uh, the Diablo Range, the Gablin Range, and up in the Santa Lucia. And this is actually some good news. We are going to see this slowly move out of our area over the next few hours. So Sunday, we'll, early Sunday, we'll see that haze stick around. By Sunday evening, we should be a little bit more clear. Real quickly, though, here's an air quality check. We are still moderate in the Gilroy area, but most of our other locations are good at this moment. We were seeing good to moderate in some locations like Salinas and Hollister today, but that has since cleared out. So hopefully we'll get Gilroy cleared out shortly here as well, especially with that marine layer in place. Now, we are seeing a weakening of the high ridge that we were had in place that were bringing us some more seasonable temperatures. And because of that, our temperatures are starting to cool down out there. That cooling trend started on Friday, even more so today, and it will continue into Sunday. We do have a zonal flow right now, so not much change tomorrow, especially for our coastal location, but our change actually comes on Monday here. We have this trough that will start to dig in, and with it is a cold front. I do expect most of the activity to stick to the north, just north of us, but there is a chance of some rain that comes with this. So late Monday into Tuesday, we could see some very light, spotty showers, maybe in the Santa Cruz mountains area, even looking like Salinas and Monterey. But again, if we do get any, it's going to be very light, and the chance is still very low right now. What we will see with this, though, is some cold air. There's a lot of cold air behind this cold front as it moves by. So Tuesday, we're going to see some of our coolest temperatures that we've seen for a while. And with this as well, we're going to see some gusty conditions as it passes Tuesday into Wednesday, but then this ridge of high pressure builds back in and we'll start seeing some more seasonable temperatures out there. Like I mentioned, those low clouds, we're going to see those once again tomorrow. We'll clear out mostly sunny skies for our inland locations. Those low clouds stick into the coast before they move back in Sunday night into Monday morning. And again, we'll see some patchy fog out there for Monday morning as well. Overall, though, not a bad day tomorrow, just a bit on the cool side. Here's what you could expect, 66 for Santa Cruz. We're going to see those 70s in the Santa Cruz Mountains, 62 for Davenport. We're going to see those 60s along the coast tomorrow, not really changing much. 67 out there for Cashville, 69 for Salinas, a little warmer in the Santa Clara Valley with those upper 70s, and 75 for Hollister. 66 for Marina. It's going to be a cool one on the peninsula tomorrow, 68 for Monterey. Look at this, some cooler temperatures. You can tell where those low clouds are going to be hanging out tomorrow, 62 for Carmel by the sea. Up and down the Salinas Valley, we're going to see those 70s out there so cooler than what we've been seeing. Again, we're really going to see that cool down for our inland locations. King City at 80. I don't even think we're going to see 90s for southern Monterey County tomorrow. If we do see them, I think it will be in Bradley, but I do expect temperatures to be in those upper 80s for our south parts of our viewing area. Here's a look at the next seven days for you. Again, I do expect some patchy fog the next couple of days. Before that system moves in, we will see some increasing clouds along the coast. We have a pretty deep marine layer gusty conditions as the system passes. We do have a slight chance of showers Monday into Tuesday. This is really going to be for our coastal locations, but then as the system passes, we start to warm up and we'll see more seasonable temperatures. That's going to be the case inland. This is where we're going to feel it more so as far as temperatures. We're going to have some nice days for our inland locations. We'll see some gradual clearing Tuesday as that system passes by. We will see some scattered clouds out there, but look at that as that ridge builds back in, we will actually see a warm trend starting mid to late uh, mid to late next week. 